Here we are back again with some questionable white stuff in Ziploc bags here. That's right, it's time for another Strato Minis miniature review here. This time it's the Scarab tank. It's a small tank. And I just wanted some small basic tanks for Battletech. I don't know what's, uh, if something's like wrong with me or something, because if I play Battletech, uh, it's a game all about the mechs and huge uh, destructive machines of war. That have like fusion engines and stuff and all i'm interested in are like tiny tanks that have like a basic cannon on them i don't know what's wrong with me anyway as per usual we're gonna uh, look at the components here and then i'll pin them up and and show you how the finished product uh, looks like but this time i also got something a little bit special because i don't want just two basic tanks i want four so i actually finally got some uh, official um, like vehicle miniatures the retro ones the metal scorpion light tanks so we're also going to paint those guys up and see how they how they work next to the i'm going to presume nicer uh, strato minis units let's get you the uh, products here so here we have the Strato Minis Scarab tanks, two pieces as you can see, the chassis and the turret. As you can see, the tanks look a little bit bigger maybe than they actually are because there's some cleanup that's involved with these guys. All of this stuff has to go, as well as here on the turret, this bit here, that has to, all of that has to go away. I'm going to clean these parts up and show you what they look like. But not before I show you these retro miniatures. So this is the uh, Royal Partha or the Iron Wind Metals classic uh, Scorpion light tank model. Again, a chassis and a turret. Now the turret is uh, it's a very thin piece of metal. Uh, so you have to be kind of careful about it. I think you could just bend this if you wanted to. Not a lot of detail here, especially if you compare it to the uh, Strato Mini stuff. But maybe it has like a, a bit of a retro charm to it maybe i'll also put these guys together and then i'll show them off side by side with the strato minis uh, miniatures here we have our assembled tanks and now we can finally actually compare like how they stack up next to each other uh, size wise they are basically the same size the the Strato Mini's Scarab is, is a little bit bigger, as you can see, a little bit longer. And the width is about the same. But the uh, length of the turret is about the same. So they're basically the same size. Again, of course, the uh, new nice mold here on the Strato Mini's uh, model is, is a lot uh, prettier and more detailed. But there is a certain uh, retro charm to these old uh, metal models. I was a little bit surprised that these actually did need a bit of cleanup. There was basically this mold light going all the way, uh, all the way uh, through this model, as you can see here, maybe. So I had to scrape this part off. And also here you can see there's a, like a mold line here, which I wasn't able to get off. But you know, it's a very clean, very, very simple mold, um, very retro. And the Strato Minis here looks a little bit more modern. But I guess that kind of works because I do intend to use this as like uh, militia tanks. So they might just be scraping by with whatever uh, equipment they find in the field. Anyway, now I'm going to uh, paint these guys up, base them and show you how they look like when they're finished. And here we are with some finished light tanks, the Strato Minis Scarab and the classic Royal Partha Scorpion. The Scarab is a little bit bigger, it's a little bit uh, longer I'd say, and has a lot more detail of course than the old Royal Partha classic miniature. But you know, both have their charms. I do enjoy the heft of the Royal Partha one quite a bit. Now, um, why did I get four of these guys? Well, I just think that it's nice to have like a lance full of 
tanks on like a like a full unit of tanks and scorpions are very very cheap to field on the game uh, in the game in Baltic or, or Alpha Strike as well and you know there's just something about like these very basic units that are like going up against huge mechs and stuff here's a bit of a comparison the Battlemaster these tanks are tiny compared to these mechs even the Wolfhound is huge compared to a Scorpion tank of course there are some other tanks as well here is a uh, Churchill tank by Death Ray Designs, as well as a Myers tank, just for scale, so you can appreciate how much bigger uh, everything is compared to the humble Scorpion tank. What I didn't talk about earlier was pricing. Um, the Stratominis tank, the Scarab tank, is 5 euros currently. It was a little bit more earlier, but they lowered their price and, and that one went quite a, down quite a bit, actually. And the Royal Partha metal ones, in Europe, they go for like 8 or 9 euros for two. Whereas it looks like in, in the uh, States, in uh, true iron metals, they're actually a little bit uh, more expensive. They go for like 11 or 12 dollars or something. But that's sort of the price range you're going to get. So they're sort of a similar price, actually. Anyway, there's a little bit of a comparison between some uh, nice new resin models and some classic old metal models. That's pretty much the video for this time. Thanks for watching and see you next time.